Ford Meteor. Stylish interior trimmings, special wheels, and mind-bending performance. The Ford Meteor. In the modern day, it is hard to imagine a world without advertisements. From on our televisions and radios to on what we wear and what we eat, we are constantly bombarded with ads trying to communicate in their own original way an idea or product. Ads are meant to manipulate their audiences, but what's to stop advertisers from exploiting their voice? It seems hard to believe that in 1942, in Valentine vs. Christensen, the Supreme Court ruled that purely commercial advertising is not protected under the First Amendment. Now this sounds like a bad thing, right? Well, after this ruling, countless loopholes, including the concealment of factual information in an advertisement, began running. Ads began to come out after this ruling, hiding their commercial intentions. You'll wonder where the yellow went when you brush your teeth with Pepsodent, Pepsodent, Pepsodent. This ruling came just a decade after FTC vs. Rolladom, where the court decided that lying about a product is in fact illegal. These two decisions work as the framework for modern day advertising. I think rulings that were put in place 50, 60, 70 years ago uh, need to be looked at again and updated because the way that we advertise now and the information that's available to people and the way that the information is presented is so different than what it was. You know, it's no longer just a written uh, type of advertisement anymore. It, it's so much more in your face these days that they really need to go back and look at the regulations and change them along with our changing times. And we have so much more advertising today than we did back then that we really, we need to expand what, what can be advertised, but also still make sure that the consumer is protected in the advertisement. Following the pattern of progress in advertising, what's there to stop advertisers from not necessarily lying, but telling the whole truth? There isn't. We live in a world that the only thing stopping a marketing team from discovering a new catchy loophole is ethics and morals. I think it is unethical to conceal key truths when advertising a product because you don't want to fool the person as to what a product can do. So I think you need to give a consumer an idea about what the product's about. However, there's only so much you can tell in an advertisement. So depending on the product, for instance, if it's a drug, while you might list some side effects, I really think it belongs to uh, a doctor, his office, and the doctor himself to have the responsibility to tell you all of the side effects and all of the um, negative implications a drug can have on you. In a society where there are nearly eight times the amount of attack ads run in the prime time spot as an ad promoting the views of a politician, where is the morality? Dollars a year. Mitt Romney's middle class tax increase. He pays less, you pay more. His plan is to drive down wages by weakening unions. In short order, he's promised to fire 10,000 education workers and cut billions from our health care. We're all surrounded by advertisements and information. But how can we tell if something is true?